Hi everyone, my name is Camilo Sanchez and this is Big Data and the Internet of Things. In this video presentation, I will talk about how Internet of Things is a source of big data, interconnectivity, security issues, privacy issues, ethics, and global perspective. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is composed of billions of devices connected to the Internet that communicate using Internet Protocol IP. These IP devices, such as radio frequency identification tags that attach to objects, sensor devices, and wireless mobile devices, are able to capture real-time data and to generate information high in volume velocity, and variety, which are characteristics of big data. The Internet of Things will connect everything to the web and will be able to link mobile phones, appliances, TVs, cars, homes, or anything to create a smarter environment. Sensors connected to appliances, thermostats, locks, Security alarm systems make a smart home that is able to communicate to homeowners through smartphones. Future vehicles will rely more on the Internet of Things to be automated and controlled by mobile phones. In smart cities, sensors are located on roads to monitor and provide real-time traffic and safety. These applications generate big data that is measured to create new knowledge that in consequence will improve, simplify, and make people's lives more efficient. The Internet of Things is more regulated in some industries than others. For instance, health and transportation fall into a more direct regulation, whereas exercise and diet trackers are less regulated. With less regulations, some devices are not capable to provide solid levels of security. The Federal Trade Commission has a report on the Internet of Things that exposes how businesses do not take the necessary steps to provide all the security features that millions of Internet of Things devices lack today. The report recommends businesses to take the necessary procedures to guarantee the privacy of users. For FTC, the only way to create an effective IoT device is to develop it to earn its users' trust. The FTC recommends that companies take into consideration how data minimization play a key role in privacy for users. Companies keeping large amounts of users' data are prone to attacks and to use that data in ways users do not expect. The FTC has recommended Congress issue a data security legislation to help enforce security, notify consumers of data breaches, and to protect against unauthorized usage. In 2016, 5.5 billion new devices will be part of the Internet of Things, and 30% more than 2015 will be in use in 2016. The total num number of devices is estimated to reach 20.8 billion by 2020. With the increase on the number of Internet of Things devices, big data becomes more vulnerable. Vast amounts of valuable information attract cyber criminals that in time have numerous of possible targets for cyber threats. Low power devices connected to the internet, such as trackers, do not meet the qualifications to support a high level of security. Also, 70% of the most common Internet of Things devices contain vulnerabilities. As the number of Internet of Things devices increases, the technology used in cyber attacks is more sophisticated and harder to detect.
Internet of Things devices store a large amount of data concerning to their users and the environment. And some of the information may be stored on the devices or in the cloud. Big data is so valuable because it is a source to extract new knowledge through data processing and accumulation. This process leads to innovation, but also leads to user privacy issues. In the US, there are huge data privacy and security concerns regarding wearable IoT devices. These devices collect huge amount of data and new technologies allow that data to be used in and analyzed in many ways. Users' data gathered from wearables such as time, duration, interaction with other tracked individuals, or demographic data can provide decisive content. Wearables data is not only limited to its user location or activities, but also to sensitive information such as health conditions, movements, or emotions. For instance, Microsoft Band incorporates technology used in light detectors, like galvanic skin response that combined with heart rate and temperature, is, it is possible to predict emotional states. Big data generated by Internet of Things serves as a huge source for governments and companies to intrusively surveillance people's lives. This practice has the potential to become the age of data valence. Data may willingly public into the digital world through credit card transactions or social media like Facebook can be analyzed in real time using minor tools that provide detailed information of behavior, buying patterns, location, or internet searches. Intrusive surveillance will increase as big data grows in size. Teleological ethics approach assumes that actions are judged morally solely by the consequences. Utilitarianism is an example of teleological ethics. According to utilitarians, everyone owed to act in ways in which bring about greatest amount of happiness for the greatest number of people. This approach affirms that a moral act is the one that produces the most happiness for the most people. For instance, the lack of government regulations combined with people's confidence on the performance of devices inside companies to produce Internet of Things devices without addressing data security to supply an increase in demand for such devices. Also, since big data demand has increased, companies are motivated to store more data without taking into consideration privacy implications. Based on these actions, companies benefit millions of customers and themselves with fully working home security devices connected to mobile phones at the, minimum, at the minimum price of those few customers affected when some devices are compromised in cyber attacks or when their privacy is violated. Every country differ in regards of data and privacy norms and regulations. Each nation has a distinct approach on how data should be appropriately used on the public and private sector. Differences in data and privacy regulations are illustrated in the approach of Europe and US to the private sector. In Europe, the implications of large accumulation and misuse of data has led Europeans to develop a rigorous regulatory system to protect how European citizens' personal data is manipulated. Personal data process and free movement in Europe is enforced by Directive 9546EC and is implemented by the member states of Europe imposing national laws about storing, using, sharing, and protecting personal data 
within and outside the European nations. Cultural and historical reasons has led the US to have a different privacy approach to Europe. Unlike Europe, the US does not have a single authority or law to protect data and regulate its process. Instead, the US approach is regulated by, by federal authorities and it's based in federal and state privacy laws that differ according to every industry. In the finan financial industry, many financial services regulators have implemented the Grand Leach Lyle Act to regulate, regulate how institutions gather, use, and disclose non public data. Also, the healthcare industry follows the regulations stipulated by the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act on 1996. Unregulated industries fall under the regulations of Federal Trade Commission, which is the main privacy regulator in the U.S. The FTC enforces the General Consumer Law Section 5 in the private sector and prohibits unfair acts to affect commerce. State attorneys also have the power to regulate malpractices and to enforce the public and private sectors when violations to privacy laws are committed. The Internet of Things is a huge source of big data and is expected to interconnect billions of devices globally representing an opportunity for data analytics to generate new knowledge and to contribute to further advancements. Even though data analytics offer valuable contributions to society, it, it also represents significant data privacy and security concerns. As big data grows, the risks generated by the lack of control, ethical approaches, and government regulations also grow. The public-private sector and government need to take the necessary steps to guarantee an effective use of big data without compromising security and personal privacy.